Go ahead, Mark. Don't everybody ask at once. Why don't you talk, talk about your car and the one that's over there that's really nifty as well? Yeah, uh, we're just uh, out here promoting a new, uh, new Batman movie with Mount, Mountain Dew and Diet Mountain Dew. And uh, that's the Tumblr, I guess the new Batmobile. It looks pretty cool. I'm interested in going over there and taking a better look at it myself. But uh, it's pretty exciting. I think it's a uh, great cross promotion for uh, for uh, Hollywood and NASCAR, and hopefully they enjoy it. I'm sure we will. Do you like having a black car? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, typically, I, I normally wear white suits and stuff because of the heat in the winter in the summertime, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've never really, never driving a black car before, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of the uh, speeds around this place this year? Oh, well, they're fine. You know, you don't really feel like going that fast. Um, you know, they're, they're really high, and they look big on the sheet, and they look impressive on the, on the stats, but... Feet really don't feel that fast. Cars feel real comfortable, and uh, yeah, it's really surprising to hear the you know, speeds that we're running because it doesn't feel like it's going like fast. Do you think you'll be able to run up high like you have in years past? There's no groove up there yet. So if somebody goes up there and puts one down, I'm going to run where the groove's at. Are the speeds ridiculously high, or are they just hey, it's fast here and it'll slow down? Can you put it in perspective? Uh, the speeds don't feel that fast. I feel like the car is going 180, but uh, it says on the chart it's going, you know, 200 or whatever. But it just feels like it feels like it always felt here. So it kind of just feels like qualifying, but there's a lot of grip and the car's pretty comfortable. What stands out most for you from your win here four years ago? Um, uh, probably just the, the nerves. Last few laps and all those caution laps, and though we had a green light checker, I'm not sure we had enough gas to make it. How close do you feel you already getting back to that victory lane? I feel like we're getting real close. We've been uh, really competing well and been competitive every week at every track, and that feels really good to say. And the team's excited. We ran great last week. We had a strong car, so the team's really excited. Um, we're just kind of going to each race track every weekend and you know, seeing what kind of car we can put out on the starting grid on Sunday and we just feel like I, you know I feel like if we keep going we're going to win some races we just got to keep working Biffle is saying that you're so much better now than you've been in the last few years that that, that almost puts more pressure on you to think about winning more because you know you can win than if you were running 18th or 19th is, is there something to that? Um, I don't know I, I feel like uh, I feel better right now than I did several years ago we weren't competing well when we weren't running well and we had to answer to why we were winning we were so we were miles from winning you know we were so far away from being able to compete and win a race and be competitive enough to win a race that that was a tough question to answer and uh, now it just feels like it's right around the corner so I'm getting excited I'm getting more and more excited than we ever run out this year and, and Last couple of weeks, we seem to have improved even more in, as a team. Last year, we kind of held steady all year, and really, which is you know, we did well, and we we're happy with how we finished in the points. But we really just kind of held, held steady the entire season. We didn't really find speed throughout the year. But this year, we've been able to start off good. And now, in the summer here, in the last couple of weeks, we found good speed more than we really had at the start of the year, which is really what good, you know, what what teams that I see win races do. Are you surprising yourself at all where, as the car comes to you, you know, you're learning more about what you have, or you always had that, you just, you know, you just have the equipment now, and, and the crew chief, and, and, the, and the big combination? It takes the whole team, it, and you hear that all the time, and it sounds like such a cliche, but it takes everything working at the right time, and at the right pace, and everybody with a good attitude. One guy with a bad attitude can ruin the next guy, that ruins the next guy, that ruins the next guy. It just takes a matter of about four or five weeks for the whole team's terrible and upset with each other and just ain't enjoying racing.